Ah, there you are. Have you heard the news? Poor old Lord Candrian passed away in his sleep. Very sad. Yes. You'll be happy to hear that Arian Rydarn is the new Lord Candrian. Incidentally, I believe this belongs to you. Careless of you to have left it behind. But I hope we can work together again sometime. Be well. Oh, welcome to the Lyceum Grove, where the majesty of the font is glorified and regulated. I am Jackson, apprentice to the Fontmaster and steward of tinctures and elixirs. I enjoy the mortal world immensely. It adds such texture and color to our experience. Now and then you might find me in your dustling district, taken in the bustle. I am the steward of tinctures and elixirs. A meaningless title, one I gave myself, actually. But my work is vital, as is my role, to test the font's magic. This is where we watch over the font, the source of magic in the gardens of Issa. It is a fountainhead that is nourished for as long as this world has been. The font's flow can be measured, directed, and even regulated, depending on the needs of our people. Font master Nomoran attends to these duties. He has the role of monitoring the font's flow throughout the city and the Feylands. His telling is not to be envied, as it is one of our most important. Bristletongue? My moy, that would be something. A mockingbird with the font's only yield. Of course I will tell you where it is. What would be the fun in refusing? But before I do that, you need to offer me something. Isn't that how you mortals act? One deed for another? As steward of tinctures and elixirs, I often dabble in alchemy, especially with the water from the font. And I need you to drink this potion. Good. I will know what this does to the mortal constitution. Go on, big gulps now. None of that sipping. If you ever wish to learn, come visit. at your service.
You've got the seeds. <laughs> now we'll see if the Victor's Brew can stand up to a new challenger. I'll have a batch of Asker's draft ready before the week is out. Take this, friend. And like I promised, the merchants here will give you a discount. You've got a home here in the alley for as long as you like. The Ambassadors requested that facilities be created where flesh and blood folks could put their feet up. Not that the Fae know what that means. So the All Main approached my family about starting a tavern. The alley does well, but I'm no businessman. I wouldn't say I ran from the war, I just don't need to know every little thing that's going on. There are other ways to help. Getting folks drunk is one of them. I know better than to criticize the Fae. They call us children of dust. We treat them like people, but they're like no people I've ever met. This city has been here for thousands of years. Longer than that, even. It will be here long after we're gone. Oh, yes, sorry. The United Merchants Delegation. It's a coalition of traders that have been granted permission to sell their wares in Issa. Thanks for the business. Goods and conversation. Hey there, pretty. This is Asker's Alley, best tavern in Issa. Only tavern in Issa, of course, but you didn't know that, did you? If you're new in the city, I can help. I know everything. About the Understyle, the Embassy, the Scolia Arcana, you name it. I know it all. We provide your basic public service. Ale. And if drinking isn't your thing, then you can always stop by the Hexes game and back. Oh, if I had the finery and manners, you wouldn't find me anywhere but the Embassy Hall. I'd even buy a title. But it's a dreadful place these days, what with the war. The Darkofar and Varani are practically at arms over their differences, and everyone speaks in a whisper. I prefer the United Merchants Delegation. Those are my people. Olana and her squire Brio, they have the good fortune to meet with all the nobles who visit the High King. A life of lords and ladies. Oh, that's the life for me. So you want to brush up on your bad luck, do you? That game will do it for you, all right. Speak with Kali in the back. I know. Need more women here. You look like one who enjoys a game of hexes. We mortals need something of our own here in Issa. Why can't it be gambling? If you don't know how, I can teach you. You had a look about you. Listen, all you need recall is these six cards here in my hand. Ace, juice, three, four, five, and the hex. First, you start with an ante. What'll it be? Bold, I like it. Now, will the card I draw be even or odd? Yes. And the cards? A five. Not even, I'm afraid. I knew I had you hooked. What's your ante? Bold, I like it. Now, will the card I draw be even or odd? Yes! And it's a four. You got it. Now, what's your bet? Feeling the luck, eh? Well then, tell me. The next card, higher or lower than the last? And the second card's a five. That's higher, so you win. You'll be back. Normally you wouldn't find me reveling in an old main tavern, but the city has few options when it comes to drinks. This 
dwelling gets quite raucous. You mortals have a strange tendency to befoul anything you touch. Be warned, there is a peace edict in the gardens of Issa. No disturbing the peace and no open displays of weapons. Ridiculous, I know. Mortals in Issa, I do not approve. Greetings. Enjoy your visit to the city, Your Grace. Long live the House of Balance. I enjoy my role as steward, but my fear of Lady Olana overshadows any pleasure I might find in the tasks assigned to me. She is quite critical. Well, I've never met him, of course. Such an honor is not granted to squires, but they say he is quite incredible. As tall as a tree and radiating a great light, as though a sun burned within him. The birds sing to herald his glory. She is a harsh mistress, prone to violence, but mostly of the swatting kind. Usually I deserve it. I am steward of the High King's List and apprentice to the Lady of Receivership. Olana will be so displeased once she finds out I failed her so. Few dustlings ever make their way to these gardens. I believe they fear us as they fear the elements, as they should. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like to be called dustlings? Goodbye, Lucas. 